Today we're going to be studying the hydration of 2-pentine, which is an internal alkyne. 2-pentine is going to be treated with H2O and H2SO4. If it were a terminal alkyne, we would need the presence of an ad additional uh, mercury catalyst. 2-pentine is going to react with H2O and H2SO4 to give two tautomers. Tautomers are constitutional isomers that differ in the location of a double bond and a hydrogen atom. First step is protonation. One of the pi bonds in 2-pentine is going to attack a hydrogen. And simultaneously, the sigma OH bond is going to break and the electron pair is going to be taken by the oxygen. This will lead to the formation of a vinyl carbocation, which is an unstable species. This step is a nucleophilic attack of H2O. One of oxygen's lone pairs is going to attack the positively charged carbon in the carbocation. This yields two constitutional isomers, denoted E and Z. The E isomer has the two largest substituents in a trans configuration, thereby making it more stable and a major product of this step. This E isomer will be carried on to the next step. Step three consists of the loss of a proton to form an enol. An OH bond on the E isomer is broken when a lone pair from H2O attacks the hydrogen. This leads to the formation of an enol, which has two functional groups, a carbon-carbon double bond and an OH group. Steps 4 and 5 of this reaction encompass tautomerization. Protonation occurs when the pi bond of the enol captures a hydrogen from hydronium. Simultaneously, the OH bond breaks, donating the electron pair to oxygen. This results in a resonance-stabilized carbocation. Indeed, oxygen will donate a lone pair to the positively charged carbon, thereby forming a double bond. Now, if we look at the two resonance structures, we can see that the positive charge is delocalized between carbon and oxygen thereby contributing stability. Finally, a lone pair from water will capture this hydrogen, breaking its bond with a positively charged oxygen. This will lead to the formation of a ketone. Hydration of 2-pentine results in two products, an enol and a ketone, which are in equilibrium with each other. However, equilibrium favors the ketone largely because the CO double bond is much stronger than the carbon-carbon double bond. This is the proposed energy diagram for the hydration of 2-pentine. The overall reaction is exothermic. There are four transition states. The first one having the highest energy of activation because it leads to the formation of a carbocation, which is a very unstable species.